Hello， 大家好，歡迎嚟到 Learn to Climb Melbourne。我呢個係導師 Climbing。我哋今日講嘅咧就係 Climbing and Descending Turn。Climbing and Descending Turn 咧嘅意思就係 climb 緊嘅時候 turn 或者 descend 嘅時候 turn 啦。其實個原理咧就同我哋之前上一堂學嘅 Medium Level Turn Fit 先相似，只不過係 combine 咗爬升嘅時候嘅轉向同埋下降嘅時候嘅轉向。但係當我哋練習 climbing and descending turn 嘅時候，有咩要注意呢？咁首先咧，要注意翻喺我哋做 climbing turn 嘅時候，我哋嘅 angle of bank 最多只係可以係十五度嘅 angle of bank 嘅啫。但係 descending turn 嘅時候咧，我哋嘅 angle of bank 可以 bank 到去三十度嘅。咁點解我哋做 climbing turn 嘅時候最多淨可以 bank 十五度呢？原因就係咧，當飛機做 climbing turn 嘅時候咧，速度會比較少，咁就越接近失速嘅速度啦。而唔單止係咁樣啦，當飛機喺 bank 緊嘅時候咧，亦都係會越接近失速嘅速度。咁當兩者合埋一齊嘅時候咧，為咗避免咁接近失速嘅速度，就只可以 limit 去用十五度嘅 angle of bank。另外啦，喺飛機做 climbing turn 嘅時候咧，飛機都會受到一種 tendency 嘅影響，叫做 over banking tendency。意思就係佢會不斷咁向彎側咁樣傾斜。咁呢種 tendency 係點樣發生嘅呢？咁主要都有兩個部分嘅。咁第一個原因啦。假設我哋而家向左轉，飛機係沿住左彎咁樣轉啦，右邊嘅翼咧就會比左邊嘅翼行到得比較快，因為喺同一時間底下，佢係會 cover 更加多嘅距離啦。咁所以右邊嘅翼比左邊嘅翼，佢會製造更加多嘅升力。咁當喺 climbing turn 嘅時候，兩邊翼有唔平等嘅升力咧，佢嘅飛機就會不斷想向彎側咁樣轉。第二部分就係因為右邊嘅翼比左邊嘅翼行走得更加多嘅距離咧，其實右邊嘅翼嘅 angle of attack。攻角咧係會比較大嘅，咁因為右邊嘅翼嘅 angle of attack 比較大咧，就好似啱速度一樣，升力嘅製造亦都會比較大。兩者同時製造嘅升力就會比左邊嘅翼嘅升力更加大啦，所以令到嘅飛機不斷向彎心咁樣去傾斜。咁為咗抵消呢一個 tendency 啦，而保持我哋十五度角嘅 angle of bank 咧，我哋 climbing turn 嘅時候，我哋就要不斷用 opposite aileron 去抵消呢一個 tendency， 從而可以 maintain 到十五度嘅 angle of bank。咁當我哋了解咗有關 climbing turn 同 descending turn 嘅 theory 之後呢，我哋就可以去進入下一步 work cycle， 了解下一啲口訣去幫助我哋記得喺飛機上面點樣做 climbing turn 或者 descending turn 嘅。咁首先呢，有 pre entry， pre entry 嘅口訣呢就係 H A L H heading。咁 heading 啦就要 set 返我哋想轉向度嘅 heading 啦。A altitude。set 我哋想去爬升至或者下降至嘅高度。L look out， 咁我哋就要確保我哋爬升或者下降至嘅空域係冇其他嘅飛機。咁當我哋只係做水平轉向嗰陣咧，我哋只要 scan 水平呢個方向係冇其他飛機，即係譬如如果我哋轉右彎就 left centre centre right， 或者轉左彎 right centre centre left， 咁樣就可以啦。但係當我哋係做 climbing turn 嘅時候咧，唔單止我哋要望水平咁樣去望有冇其他嘅飛機，我哋更加要望 up 係冇其他嘅飛機，我哋先可以開始爬升。同樣道理咧，當我哋下降嘅時候，都要望我哋只係正前方嘅下邊，我哋飛向嘅空域係冇其他飛機，先可以開始嘅下降。確保咗我哋要爬升至或者下降至嘅空域係冇其他飛機咧，就可以進入下一個部分 entry cycle。如果係 climbing 嘅話咧，個 entry cycle 就係 P A S T P power。咁我哋 climbing 嗰陣咧，就用 full power full throttle A attitude。咁就視乎翻我哋想做咩嘅 climb 啦。咁喺呢個 demonstration 咧，我哋都係用一個叫 cruise climb。咁我哋只要將我哋嘅機頭 pitch up 至到水平線喺我哋嘅 dashboard 之上就可以噶啦。S speed。咁當我做 cruise c a m 嘅時候呢，就大概係九十 knot。T trim， 如果我哋喺控制杆向後拉緊嘅話呢，就向後 trim， 直至到我哋唔使再向後拉就可以㗎喇。咁啱就講完 climbing turn 嘅 entry cycle， 我哋而家就講下 descending turn 嘅 entry cycle。P A S T P power power 呢就拉後至十八寸嘅 manifold pressure， 就好似 cruise descent 一樣。A attitude 五隻手指 ，S speed 大概係一百一十 knot 至一百二十 knot 左右。T trim 
喺呢個時候呢，因為你係要 lower the noise， 所以你係應該會向前推嘅。咁你就要向前 trim， 直至到你唔需要左右控制杆向前推，咁就 OK 噶啦。當我哋 establish 咗喺 climbing 或者 descending 之後咧，我哋就可以諗下要開始轉向啦。咁轉向嘅 work cycle 係咩咧？就係、是、B B B bank balance back pressure bank。咁就用 aileron 去令飛機去轉向 bank 去你想轉向嘅一方面啦。咁要大家記住嘅呢，就係 climbing turn 只可以用到十五度嘅 angle of bank， 而 descending turn 就可以用到三十度嘅 angle of bank。咁只要 bank 到去十五度或者三十度，保持住咁就 OK 㗎喇。Balance， 咁就要用 rudder 去保持平衡啦。Back pressure 要用一啲 elevator 去保持飛機嘅 attitude。當我哋進入咗 climbing turn 或者 descending turn 之後呢，就可以進入下一步，我哋嘅 maintenance cycle。A L A P A attitude， 咁 attitude 咧就係要保持翻我哋嘅水平線係喺儀表板嘅同一個位置啦。L look out， 咁我哋就要繼續保持望向彎心同埋望向爬升或者下降嘅位置，確保係冇其他障礙物或者有其他嘅飛機啦。後面 A attitude， 繼續保持水平線係喺儀表板嘅同一個位置。P performance， 咁我哋做 climbing turn 或者 descending turn 嘅時候呢，就要繼續去觀察我哋嘅 performance， 叫做我哋嘅 performance scan。咁要 scan 到啲乜嘢呢？就例如係我哋嘅 heading 啦，同我哋嘅 heading bug 係爭幾多，仲有幾多度就要開始停止轉向，又或者係我哋嘅 altimeter， 仲有幾多尺要開始停止去爬升呢？咁視乎返係我哋達到我哋嘅 heading 先啦，或者係我哋嘅 altitude 先，我哋就會停止轉向先啦，或者停止爬升或者下降先嘅。如果我哋去到我哋預定 heading 先呢，咁我哋就可以用我哋嘅 turning 嘅 exit cycle。B B B bank balance back pressure 去 exit 咗個 turn 先。不過呢，我哋嘅 attitude 係要繼續去爬升嘅，就要翻返一個 climbing 嘅 attitude 或者 descending 嘅 attitude 啦。假設我哋要繼續 climb 嘅話呢，咁我哋就會繼續 set 一個 climbing 嘅 attitude。爬升至預定高度之後呢，我哋就可以進行 climbing 嘅 exit cycle。A S P T A attitude， 咁 attitude 呢就返返去 normal cruise 嘅四隻手指。咁我哋喺 climbing 嘅時候，因為我哋有好多 back trim， 所以我哋 exit 嗰陣呢就要將機頭向前推，去返四隻手指。S speed， 咁我哋 climbing 嘅時候大概就九十 k n o t 啦。咁當我哋 level off 咗之後呢，就會讓飛機 accelerate 去到大概一百 k n o t 左右，咁就可以進行 P power。咁 power 我哋要 set 返二十二寸 manual pressure 同二千二百 RPM。T trim。咁因為我哋係將個飛機嘅機頭向前推，咁所以我哋就要向前 trim。trim 令到架飛機係唔需要繼續向前推呢，咁就可以㗎喇。咁如果係下降至去到預定高度嘅話呢，咁就可以進行 descending 嘅 exit cycle， 就係 P。A S T P power， 咁 power 就可以增加翻 power 去到 normal cruise 嘅 power setting， 二十二寸 manual pressure， 二千二百 RPM。A attitude 亦都系 normal cruise 嘅 power setting， 四隻手指。S speed 就大概系一百一十至一百二十 knot。T trim trim 到个飞机，令到你唔需要再施任何力喺控制杆上面就 OK 噶啦。以上就系 climbing and descending turn 嘅 work cycle 啦。咁接住嚟呢，就係 demonstration 嘅時間，喺飛機度帶大家睇下點樣做 climbing and descending turn。做 climbing turn 嘅時候呢，首先嘅 pre-entry cycle 就係 H A L H heading。咁當我哋係轉緊去左邊去 heading 045， 咁啊 heading 就 set 045 altitude。我哋而家保持緊三千五百尺，當我哋要爬升一千尺去四千五百尺，咁我哋嘅 o u t i t u d e bug 就 set 四千五百尺。Look out！ 我哋會 climb 先嘅，所以 right、center、center、left and up。冇 traffic， 咁我哋就可以 apply 啊個 entry cycle P A S C。首先 P power full power， 就 pitch。Then throttle and A attitude. 我哋做一個 cruise climbing turn， 咁啊首先 cruise climb dash and horizon。記住要踩油 rudder 同埋 trim
。上入咗 climb 之後咧，就可以開始進行我哋 B B B。落球咗先啦 ，right centre centre left， 跟住 bank。balance 同埋 back pressure 要保持呢一個嘅水平線，呢、這個嘅 attitude。我最多咧去到十度角嘅啫，就好似咁樣樣。我轉緊彎嘅時候就 attitude looking out into the turn attitude performance。咁留意下我哋仲有幾多要 climb， 留意我哋速度同埋我哋仲有幾多要轉去咯。我見到大概仲有十度左右咧，我就可以開始 opposite bank、opposite balance 同埋 opposite back pressure。保持翻我哋一般嘅 cruise climb， 到咗十尺去到我哋預定高度嘅時候咧，就可以開始進行 ASPT。Shoot four fingers， 大概九十至一百 knot power， 咁有二十二寸 manifold pressure， 二千二百 RPM。Shoot trim， 因為我推緊前，所以向前 trim。直至 Edison 保保持四隻嘅手指咧，咁就可以啦。咁呢個就係 climbing turn。做 descending turn 嘅時候咧 ，pre-entry H A L H heading。咁假設我哋而家要轉右，去到啊 two one zero heading。我 set two one zero 咯。A altitude。假設我哋要下降至四千五百尺，咁我 set four thousand five hundred 喺個 altitude bar 嗰度。跟住第三 L look out。Left center center right。同埋前面係冇其他飛機嘅，咁我哋就可以開始下降啦。咁假設我哋而家做 cruise descent， 咁 eighteen inches of manifold pressure， five fingers attitude， 咁樣向前推 five fingers， speed is around hundred ten hundred twenty knots trim。咁大概咧，我哋得到嘅 performance 係 minus five hundred feet per minute。我哋開始轉彎咧，就 B B B bank balance back pressure。首先我哋做 B B B 之前都要 look out 啦 ，left center center right。好，就可以開始。我哋啲 right right 嚟 balance， 同埋 back pressure。咁你會見到我要開始向後拉少少，唔係架飛機就會行得太快。要保持百 feet per minute。Attitude looking out into turn attitude performance 都睇下引擎嘅指標係咪正常咯。咁你見到我就快到二一零啊，所以 opposite bank opposite。Balance, opposite back pressure， 咁啊繼續保持 five finger attitude， 繼續下降。所以見到我哋下降嘅時候咧，因為個氣壓上升嘅問題，我哋嘅 manual pressure 都會隨住上升，所以就要慢慢減少翻個 manual pressure， 翻十八寸嘅 manual pressure。咁大概做五十尺左右咧，就可以開始進行我哋 P A S C。有啊 ，attitude, o p e n i n g speed and trip， 保持四千五百尺，咁就可以噶啦。依一落嚟就係 threat and error management。咁喺今堂又有啲咩特別嘅 threat 同埋 error 要同大家講咧？其中一個 threat 有機會影響到飛機安全咧，就係 climbing turn 嘅時候有嘅 overbanking tendency。咁亦都係我哋有機會犯嘅 error 啦，就會令飛機過度嘅轉向，而唔記得咗去保持飛機有十五度嘅 angle of bank。咁如果當呢個情況發生咧，飛機就會非常之接近失速嘅狀態啦。咁啊 ，management 就係我哋要用 opposite 嘅 aileron 去保持飛機係唔多過十五度啦，喺 climbing turn 嘅時候。另一個 threat 有機會影響到你嘅安全咧，就係 climbing turn 同埋 descending turn 嘅時候，我哋嘅視線係有限制嘅。咁所以我哋喺做呢啲 maneuver 之前咧，就一定要 look out 咗先，確保我哋呢啲嘅空域係冇其他嘅飛機。先可以開始去做呢啲嘅 climbing turn 或者 descending turn 去確保我哋嘅安全。我哋今集咧就嚟到呢度。如果你中意有關飛機嘅 content 嘅話咧，歡迎你 subscribe 我哋 Learn to Fly 嘅 YouTube channel， 俾個 like 我哋。如果你有 topic 想我哋 cover， 可以喺 comment 話俾我哋聽。又唔好唔記得喺 Facebook 同埋 Instagram follow 我哋嘅 page。今集嘅時間又差唔多，我哋下一集再見。Fly safe。